Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from VitalCoaching.com. We are talking about mastering her shadows, playing with her shadows, honoring them and loving them. And uh, we are going to make it a bit more specific right now in this video so that you understand that what I'm talking about are very specific situations. So I wrote an article that is called 317 Female Shadow Attitudes, How to Respond When She... Da -da 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 -da. So this, this is a very sensitive thing, okay? It's a very sensitive topic because you've got lots of shadow situations and very often women don't know them or don't recognize them. So if a woman would go through that, she would be like, oh my God, I'm doing like 20 of those, 30 of those. And you might respond yourself, you know, recognizing those shadows, like lots of them. And so the, the goal here is not to blame the female for <laughs> those shadows. And it's not to, uh, you know, to, to create a trigger or charge. It's simply to point out to the things that sometimes in your field might trigger you and might be considered shadows. It's more to help you and let you see that it's, uh, that it's a reality. And uh, that sometimes by the end of the day, you have been exposed to maybe a dozen shadow experiences or a dozen potential triggers that might hurt your system or put you down or do something to you that is like a shadow experience. And so, um, yeah, take it, take it lightly, okay? Don't, don't blast me over that. If you want to see the whole article, just go to uh, vitalcoaching.com slash master her shadows. This is where it's going to be put either in the form of a program or just article, but this is where you can find the source for this. So what to do when she, <sighs> let's breathe in criticizes you, challenges you, micromanages you, is aggressive with you, is demanding, is needy, confuses you, misleads you, abuses you, plays with you, rejects you, harasses you, is moody, doesn't trust you, cheats on you, betrays you, disconnects from you, does something you don't like, tries to argue, wants you to do things, is sexually pushy, gets upset, gets sad or depressed, loses faith in herself, feels lost, projects stories on you, imagines things, is delusional, delusional, is insecure, tries to educate you, coach you, or force directive advice on you, communicates with lots of emotional charge, is angry with you, plays games with you, doesn't reply to your messages, says no to you, is incoherent, is inconsistent. You know, we are at 37 only. 317, there's a lot there. These are the results of what I've been observing. In my surroundings, sometimes some of them have to do with lovers that I had in the past. Some of them have to do with friends who have been exposed to that. Some others are the result of my imagination from pop culture. Some of them are the result from stories I heard from clients. You know, let's keep going. Gets jealous, is in rivalry with, with you, loses herself in a long storytelling, tries to destroy your reputation, throws character attacks on you, accuses you of not getting her hints, tells you to do one thing, and then accuses you of not having done the opposite, gives you directions verbally, and then accuses you of not listening to her energy hints that should direct you in opposite direction. Project her past stories on you, doesn't want people to know about you, reacts when you post some pictures, believes her friends lies about you, makes mistakes with her money, doesn't follow up on professional goals, accuses you, blames you, threatens you, emotionally withdraws from you, brings up processing during romantic time, throws emotional stuff at you, blames you for your past, says you are not there for her, says you are sexually incompatible, breaks up with you, she, says she wants space, says she wants to break up, changes her mind all the time, is unsupportive, is distracted by her cell phone, plays games to make you jealous, is late, prefers spending time with her girlfriend, has more emotional intimacy with another man than with you, wants to be free, wants an open relationship, is nasty with you, is aggressive with you, is aggressive with someone you care for, is manipulative, doesn't value you, says something but does the exact opposite, gives you mixed signals, expresses her insecurities, doesn't take care of her body, lacks self-love, wants to spend more time with other men, forces her agenda on you, tries to domesticate you, blames you for everything, cheats and tells you it's your fault, Emotionally harasses you, gets offended, gets triggered, punishes you for doing what she said she wanted, uses emotional threat to get what she wants, accuses you of taking something personally, doesn't listen to the essence of what you shared but criticizes the form, deprives you from sex, emotionally disconnects from you, shuts down emotionally, deprives you from sex to punish you, tries to educate you, shares challenging emotions, 
say she's not available for intercourse, gives you conflicting messages concerning her sexual desires, expects you to be a financial provider. You know, the list goes on and on. I mean, it's the thing to understand is that when we talk about female shadows and we talk about things that can trigger you as a man, there is a big, vast volume of possible things. And so when we were talking about ninja, right, ninja attacks and knowing how to respond to that, again, I'm not giving you this to, to blame females or to blame women. I'm just giving you examples of these are the kind of possible situations you might be exposed to that might be challenging for you to deal with. You know, even this sets you up for failure. Have you been exposed to that before? She's in the world, lies to you. Have you ever been exposed to a woman who lied to you? Yeah, probably. Might be happening. And then what does it create? It creates a, an insecure feeling in your field. So when a woman lies to you, you go like, okay, shadow. Here we go. That's a shadow. How am I going to respond to it? I'm going to take it with a grain of salt. I know that she's saying something that she doesn't mean, or maybe she has other plans, or maybe she's tr trying to manipulate me in going in a certain direction. So it's very subtle, you know, it's not just anger and sadness. The emotions and the shadows that you can be exposed to are subtle. They are complex systems of energy, complex energy realities that come into your field. And then you have to learn how to, how am I going to navigate this one? And so if you look at her and you say, so there is something wrong with you. You're a liar or you are manipulating me. You say, no, it's like it's part of nature. It's part of human nature. Let's welcome that. And sometimes, yeah, sometimes you might be like, you know, I know what you're doing. It doesn't work for me. You might try to educate her. That's fine. But what, what I'm saying here is that those attacks or those shadow outbreaks that might come into your field, coming from her, you know, then it's something that you can use to evolve as a human being. You're going to find ways of navigating that that are going to expand you. So instead of being like, there is something wrong with that, no, the challenge itself is what is pushing you forward in your evolution. This is the beauty of it, because this is the, the perspective shift that I invite you to have in your life. Instead of looking at that and being like, blame, blame the woman, blame my girlfriend for that, you go like, no, she's human. That's part of her nature, to be wild and to be spontaneous and sometimes to be manipulative. That's who she is. That's what she does. This is what, this is what human beings do. And so, what are you going to do? The moment you notice that shadow, the moment you notice, for instance, you, you know, I read this list to some friend, like, a year ago, and he goes like, just, I, I took a sample, like, 10 of these shadows, just read them, I say, which ones do you recognize? He says, well, I'm exposed to seven of them. Seven of those. I go like, this is just a random sample from that list. If you read them all, you might be like, oh yeah, that one, that one, that one, that one. 317 so far. And I could, I could keep on going, you know. Yeah. It's, uh, it's powerful. And it's a very charged topic because right now we are talking about the shadows. We are naming them. We are like, and you know, guess what? You probably are expressing some of them as well. You know, maybe you go and you go like, wow, my girlfriend has got... 32 of those. These are 32 situations that I've been exposed to and I recognize them all. And then she might go like, wow, oh, here are the ones I recognize in you. Maybe you are using her, maybe you are manipulating her, maybe you are not being authentic or true, maybe you are lying to her, maybe you are cheating on her, maybe you are abusing her, not being clear, you know, it's the same thing. So it's not a just women towards men or men towards women. It's, it's, it's a universal thing. It's part of human nature. So, yeah, I'm not going to dive deeper into that. This is just to conclude the, this series of uh, the videos that we recorded this morning, just to give you an idea about how specific and how precise these shadows are. The reason why you get triggered is because there is a shadow energy coming to your field and it's going to hit you. And so, depending on how you respond to that trigger and to that attack, you're going to have a successful relationship and keep on moving forward and find ways of bonding, even though the shadows are present, or be like, put a wall and get out of here. And the thing is that most women will have some shadows in their field. You know, nobody's perfect, neither are you. So if you expect your girlfriend or your wife or partner or your lover to be perfect and to be like, okay, I, I'm only dating a woman who has no shadows. Well, guess what? Good luck with that. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, right. Okay. So what about you, man? Are you perfect? No, of course not. Of course you're not perfect. Of course there are certain things that you will do that might trigger women in your field. So in the process of doing that, you become the shadow trainer for that woman. Okay? This is such a vast topic, okay? We could go on for hours talking about it and experiencing and then giving you more techniques on how to handle all that. But you get the picture, right? Right now what we are shifting is shifting perspective. Let's look at the shadows and honor them and love them and develop abilities and, and ways to master our energetic or emotional response towards, towards all that. I thank you for listening. It has been powerful to share all that stuff with you. Yes, yeah, stay tuned. If you want to connect with me, you know where to find me, right? On vitalcoaching.com, my Facebook, you know, search around, you will find me. And uh, there are links on my website, but uh, the place to go back to is vitalcoaching.com. You've got uh, a coaching page there where you can sign up for coaching with me one-on-one. -on -one. There is lots of resources. I have about 150 topics on my website, lots of things on tantric sex, on tantra, on relationships, dynamics, on the mind, on money, on the spirit. So just keep on searching and the specific topic for this video is Master Her Shadows. I might change the title for that one. That might become just Love or Honor, honor Her Shadows. I'm not sure yet, but uh, thank you for listening. I love you. I'll see you soon.